What a nice day to go jogging now on the beach. How beautiful the sea. I wonder how the waves and tides work. Well, buddy, I am a little of these things, and I will explain with some examples. Waves are most commonly caused by wind. Wind-driven waves or surface waves are created by the friction between the wind and surface water. As wind blows across the surface of the ocean or a lake, the continual disturbance creates a wave crest. These type of waves are found globally across the open ocean and along the coast. More potentially, hazardous waves can be caused by severe weather, like hurricanes. High and low tides are caused by the moon. The moon's gravitational pull generates something called the tidal force. The tidal force causes Earth and its water to bulge out on the side closest to the moon and the side farthest from the moon. These bulges of water are high tides. There are many sports that are practiced on the beach, such as surfing, night surfing, and others that use the tides and waves of the sea. That's why the tide rises and falls, it makes the sea have waves, and all that you can see every time you come. All tides and waves are very important for the ecosystem to function properly. So also the function of the moon with the earth and the tide that it generates. Thank you very much, Jeff, for explaining all these things to me for the first time. I come to the beach, I didn't know anything about this, but now I understand most of it. Thank you, Jeff. <laughs>